Yo everybody, welcome back to another video. This is just a quickie going over the equipment rebalance and tier changes and stuff of the weapons. And a hot fix for the clue scrolls that you got from Hallowed Sepulchre. The uh the issue was that they only had one step and uh the hot fix is that the clue scrolls will henceforth have an appropriate number of steps as in for their normal tier. So they'll just match what you would get from a regular clue. Good update, Jagex. Way to make things not too overpowered in the game. So, moving forward, we got the Grazi Rapier. Sorry, Piers. Gonna uh, no more 75 attack Piers for Rapiers. It's going to 80. The Blade of Salador is also going to 80. Inquisitor's Mace to 80. Trident of the Swamp to 78 from 75. Sanguinesi Staff from 75 to 82. Kodai Wan from 85 to 80. Nightmare Staff Base Form. Note that, please. 65 to 72 and if you attach an orb it's from 75 to 82 not all right 65 to 72 and then 75 to 82 note this next we have the dragon hunter crossbow from 65 to 70 dragon hunter lands from 70 to 78 effectively making it a tier 80 weapon the scythe of viter they have decided that this is a hybrid weapon aka two-handed different stat requirements such as the elder maw having a strength requirement you know and a lot of other weapons uh but they're moving it to tier 80 with 90 strength this this is quite the jump um as a matter of fact this makes my main unable to wield a scythe so i'm currently training strength this will change but i don't hold one anyway so we're good Moving forward, Twisted Bow, 75 to 85. This, this is good. I agree with this. 75 to 80 range on the Bofa. Thank God they didn't move the agility requirement. I would have been devastated. Alright, so, we uh, also added the chance to get clues from the Hallowed Suffolk at the following rates. Floor 1, easy and 1 and 150. Floor 2, mediums, 1 and 150. Floor 3, cuts that in half at 1 and 125. Floor 4, 1 and 50 on hards. Floor 5, 1 and 60 on elites. And the Grand Coffin, 1 and 30, cutting that 1 and 60 in half. Uh, these clues will replace the item you would have received, with the exception of the Ring of Endurance, which takes priority. Alright. Bryophyta Staff. Um, a giant change here. <laughs> For a giant staff. Uh, I get it. Bryophyta Staff is now a free to play item. B baller! Along with Bryophyto's Essence to craft it, take the Essence and 50,000 gold to Zaf at his store in Verox Square. Fantastic update for the boys in free to play. In addition, Mossy and Giant Keys are now stackable. Dope. Further poll 76 changes. The magic defense of V-Shield has been boosted up to 5 and it low, no longer has negative bonuses to magic or ranged attacks. Fantastic, because the mirror shield sucks. Smoke overlay in the desert smoke dungeon can now be toggled on or off by right-clicking the smoky well. Cool. And uh, that's all for this week for that. 76 changes. Next week, um, they're going to pitch some things that we can deliver. Space bar to continue smithing and jewelry crafting. Yes. And sold hellhound heads. Yes. Increased visibility in the fight caves. Yes. Fairy ring on the Isle of Souls. Yes. Soul Wars to be playable on every world. No. Buy X options in the Soul Wars store. If you insist. We're also currently developing the following changes, although we're not sure yet when they will be rolled out. Max hit player splats. Oh wait, max hit hit splats will be differently colored and pet system changes. This is gonna be cool. Dogs. Finally, the following changes are not yet yet in development, but will be worked on soon. Notifications when items are in the retrieval systems. Hmm. Is this item lending? Poison dynamite. Baby Yaga house camera options and the clan hall changes. Excellent. I think that'll be all for uh, this one today, but we have other changes down here if you scroll. 
Uh, some special notes. The Revenant Melodictus will no longer spawn, I mean despawn in the middle of a fight. The Coward. Uh, they fixed a minor clipping issue in the Dust Devil Slayer area. They fixed a minor cl clipping issue in the player on the house tool storages. The Toxic Trident Weapon Charge text has been changed to read Toxic Trident instead of Weapon, bringing it in line with the other weapon texts. Um, we've reduced the holiday items that are over one kilogram to one kilogram as we felt a little excessive weight for cosmetic items was not necessary. Good idea. And it also says here, note, if you have something they didn't do, uh, let them know if there's anything else they should lighten up. Jar will no longer speak about the old Pharaoh's scepter max charges when discussing the desert achievement diary. And then we've added person purchase additional bank slots from the bankers. They're Vampire Bankers in the Darkmire and Bear Sinhaza. The Emerald Benedict at the Rogue's Den. Gundai at the Mage Area Bank. And Odovakar in the Laren of Tarn Razuior. Yeah. Please note that this change only affects the agility ability to purchase bank slots from these bankers specifically these changes do not increase the total amount of bank slots that are currently obtainable as it just makes them more widely attainable so that's all we have it for this quick update there's some um things down here you can go over if you're interested in it but that's the uh the game updates for today thanks for watching see you next time good